Hello everyone, uh, if you're like me, you probably recently got a new Nintendo Switch. In this case, I've got the new OLED one. Uh, and you're like, you know what? I want more storage. So uh, that's why you've got the, uh, the SD card. Uh, this one here is a 512 gig. Uh, I believe that it can handle up to a two gig. <laughs> but uh, what we're gonna do today is actually insert this, show you where to insert it on the OLED switch. If you have any questions while we're going through this, make sure to ask down below. If you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up. So first step in the process, you need to pick out which uh, micro SD card that you want to you want to get you want to make sure that it's at least a hundred bags up and down um, that is pretty much the minimum and that's what they recommend on the uh, if you buy the actual Nintendo branded um, SanDisk uh, SD card uh, but uh, save yourself some money and just get the unbranded one it's I mean there really is no reason to spend that extra money but you know, you can do what you want. Um, and also they recommend not sw swapping the cards in and out. So, you know, I'd recommend getting a big enough card that's going to work for you uh, for what you're going to need. I always have a hard time getting this little thing here. I use a lot of SD cards with the cameras and whatnot, especially with the GoPros. Um, that never works. All right, we're going to cheat. That almost always works. <laughs> All right. There we go. That should do it. And now we've got our card ready to go. And so all we're going to do is open up the back. And I really like <laughs> the kickstand on this. Um, and you'll notice, hopefully, it's got micro SD right there. And <laughs> You don't do what I do, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you just slide that guy right in there and that's it. So we'll go ahead and take this and we'll do A to continue. All right, and it's going to tell us that we need to do a, a system update. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. I believe this should be pretty quick. Last time I did this, it was super quick. And I already installed all the updates, so should be all that we need to do here. Go ahead and let this go through. Let it boot up. Again, like I said, if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. Um, I'd really, if you were buying a new card, I'd recommend at least a 256, but I guess that's just me. All right. So just like that, we're done. That's all it takes to get set up. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might be interested in. And with that, have a great day.